Hello guys and welcome back to the first vlog of 2024. I feel very weird chatting to a camera like this again. I feel like I haven't filmed or edited or uploaded a proper vlog for you guys in a long time. Um, so, very excited to be back. I always love the start of a new year. I felt very motivated. I had a really good break over the Christmas and I did plan on, I went up to Scotland. As always, I did plan on filming lots of stuff over the Christmas but when I go up to Scotland it's the only time like I'm sure with a lot of you guys it's the only time that all my siblings and my parents are like in the same country even under the same roof and in the same country and so I always end up just really soaking up and switching off and just enjoying the moment and also I think it's actually really healthy for me anyway just to take time offline and come back fresh and ready so that's exactly what I've done so it's January 3rd and it's halfway through the first week of the new year I actually really like that the new year started on a Monday it felt very fitting um for a new year so yeah it's the first week back to our first day really back to work I'm just kind of sorting out really boring admin bits like paying tax bills and replying to accountants and all that jazz yeah, I thought I'd pick up the camera and say hello and take you along with me on this week probably going to be quite a short vlog there obviously isn't too much happening I'm at home all week and um yeah it's just kind of getting back into the swing of things but I do want to show you a couple of Christmas presents that I got and apart from that it's not a huge amount just take you along with me on this week this is the first time I look and feel presentable in like two weeks I haven't drunk since New Year's Eve because I'm doing dry jan I did this last year and I loved it and I think if I'm correct I carried on dry jan into like February last year so I'm going to try and do that this year um but yeah, I feel like this is the first two day block since like a week before Christmas that I haven't had any alcohol. So I'm feeling very good, very zen. And yeah, I just feel like I look presentable. I did my hair, did my makeup, really took some time on it, put on a fresh layer of fake tan and I'm just feeling a little bit better than I did the previous few days. <laughs> um, but yeah, Christmas was so nice. I went up to Scotland, like I say, switched off and then came back here for New Year, went out with Johnny and his mum and dad and then actually on the 1st of January, which is, I hate going out for New Year. I haven't gone out for New Year in probably like seven, eight, nine years. In fact, do you know what? I don't think I've ever actually, I've only been out properly out, out for New Year once before. I like to just keep it zen on New Year's because by the time New Year comes around with having Christmas and all that, like a week before and all that comes of Christmas and social events and drinking and eating and all that stuff, come New Year's Eve, I am a wreck and my body quite literally tells me to stop, like just stop drinking, stop eating bad food, just sit down and relax. So I always get really, really bad hangovers on the 1st of January. And there's probably a huge amount of placebo in that because um, I'm telling myself that's what's gonna happen. But my God, this year did it hit me. I literally, I'm not even gonna go into it, but I was in a bad way and I ended up spending the whole of the first day of the year on the sofa, binge watching Fool Me Once on Netflix, which by the way is really, really good. I'm very excited for this year. A couple of goals, mainly focused around health, working out, well-being, just all the good things for me. I really kind of started to put wheels in motion last year and I feel like I really, really did some good things last year with working out and stopping drinking and eating healthy and cooking home cooked meals and getting outside more and going on walks and just really putting those little things in place. And this year I just really want to build on that. Um, I always say this and everyone gets annoyed, but I am 28 this year. And yes, that's young to a lot of you. But for me, like I always say, this is the oldest I've ever been. And I really feel like the older I get, the more I notice how much of what I put into me really seriously affects me. So really focusing on health this year, which I'm very excited about. So back to PT. Is it tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow and the next day I've got a session and I'm gonna make working out. So there's a couple of things that are on my list goals or like things I'm gonna you know do working out number one of course but working out making it a priority like it takes place over everything else as long as I get those two sessions in per week so making sure that if I have to go to the gym at five o'clock at night or six o'clock at night then that's just that I have to absolutely prioritize the fact that I'm going to work out and that's just the end of it and um, the way I would prioritize a meeting or filming a video which also is gonna be a priority this year. <laughs> but just making sure it is like up there, number one priority that I need to work out twice a week. And if I can't for any reason get my two sessions in, then it's gonna be like a long, long, long walk without the dogs because they can only really do like 45 minutes. Um, 
but I will take myself on like an hour, hour and a half walk and just really get outside, provided it's not raining, that's my only rule. <laughs> and of course, eating healthy, I've actually been watching, I mean, I'm 90% pescatarian anyway, I always really have been like that. I do like a bit of chicken and things, but if I'm in cooking at home, 99% of what I'm eating is fish or vegetarian. Um, but I've just been watching a series last night on Netflix called You Are What You Eat and it's kind of, I don't know, no, I don't want to say it's opened my eyes because I did kind of know most of the things I'm talking about but you know when it just, you watch it you're just like oh sugar, like okay. <laughs> so a couple things around eating, gonna be really healthy, obviously make home cooked meals but also I want to start, I always get really good meat anyway, like I get organic and the best meat that I can find but I also now I just want to start getting meat from things like a butcher just looking at where my food comes from, looking at what's actually going inside me. That will probably last, honestly, like two weeks because I'm not gonna be bothered to run to the butchers every time I wanna get meat, but just little things like that. I just wanna take a little bit more notice of. Obviously alcohol, again, going back to what it was like most of last year, cutting that out a huge amount, um, but not completely cutting it out. For this month I will, but from there on, I'll just kind of, you know, on social situations or if I really fancy it, but not if I'm bored, that's my rule. And then work-wise, I have so many goals this year, not huge astronomical goals, but really just to get my shit together, to put it bluntly. Um, I've said this so many times to you guys, and I know it's really annoying for you, but there has been so much going on behind the scenes and I will be able to sit down and tell you about it one day, but today is not that day and I don't know when that day will be, but there's just been so many things that have happened that have completely derailed me from work and from my motivation and from my scheduling and just I really want to just be able to compartmentalize things in my life and really focus on my work again because I love this job so much and I love you guys so much and I really I'm very aware of how little I put out last year and how I stopped doing my Wednesday videos and I just stopped giving you guys what you're here for so I'm very aware of that and I'm sorry if you guys have um, been missing some content from me but it will be back. So back with my Wednesday videos probably every second week to start just so I get in the groove um, but then yeah Wednesday videos and then Sunday vlogs even if they're boring that's another thing I get ready. You guys know I've told you so many times I'm like <laughs> my vlogs get so boring and so repetitive but I know you guys love watching them and I also watch all the boring and repetitive vlogs that's the only thing I watch so um, if I love them I need to create what I love right so uh, Sunday vlogs, Wednesday videos, TikToks, reels, stories, <laughs> what else? <laughs> it's like there's so many plates spinning. Um, but yeah, just getting back in the groove and taking, just shifting my priorities around a little bit, which I'm excited to do. I feel like it's a good year. I keep seeing this thing on, um, I think it's like TikTok or somewhere with reels or TikTok, I don't know, or stories. But people are saying that 2024 feels like 2016 summer and everyone's just got a really good feeling about it. And I actually have to agree with you. I feel like we've had such a mad few years, like with the pandemic and then coming out of the pandemic. And then I feel like a lot of us really kind of lost our way, lost our motivation, found it really difficult to get back in the groove. Last year, I feel like a lot of us did. And some of us still were like trying to catch up, trying to like keep the plate spinning and, you know. And I feel like this year, everyone's kind of back into normal life and just, everyone's ready just to take the bull by the horns. So tell me if you're the same. I don't know, that's how I feel. <laughs> that's how I feel, I'm gonna stick with it, I'm gonna roll with it. Um, so there's my little intro. How long have I spoke to you for? 10 minutes. Um, I feel like I have a lot of house updates to show you and I also have to let you know that there is a potential that I will be buying a house very soon. Um, I'm not gonna say any more than that because I don't wanna jinx anything, but there is some wheels in motion happening at the minute. Um, so this house as of right now still feels half finished. Um, I have a few different like mirrors and things to show you but nothing huge. We did have some dining chairs on order downstairs for the kitchen but we just cancelled that because if we are going to move none of that's going to work. Um, so yeah I feel like we're just kind of making do with what we have right now and I will not be buying anything new or trying to make this place a home for a couple of reasons. One, I already told you guys, I feel really weird in this house. It feels very temporary and I never understood why. And one of you girls commented, I think it was on Instagram or on here, and you said, um, that feeling of temporary sounds to me like you're ready to buy a house. And it just clicked something in my head and I was like, you are right. <laughs> that is exactly what's happened. And at that point I hadn't even looked at houses, nothing. And then, yeah. So yeah, I, number one, I'm not gonna spend time or effort on this house because we may actually be moving fairly soon. And number two, I know I'm not gonna stay here longer than I have to. Um, we just, it's just not the vibe. It's just not it. It's just not what I thought. Nothing wrong with it. I'm very grateful to be in here, but 
I, you guys that rent, you'll know, you just get feelings and this is not the feeling. Um, although I'm trying to still be very positive about it, I'm very happy here. I love being back in Winchester. It's just, there's no point. I feel like there's no point in spending any more money on a house that isn't mine. That's where my mind's at right now. <laughs> um, so yeah, like the bedroom, I'll show you now. This bedroom is absolutely huge. I don't know if it'll come up on camera, but it's like ridiculously huge. I've shown you it quite a few times. Love this setup and this will come with us wherever we go. Um, obviously my little chest of drawers, that's all fine. This we added in new. I don't know if I've showed you this, but it's from William Wood. I'm obsessed with it. We have one here and we have one downstairs, which is also concrete, but it's like triple layered. So it's, I don't know, it's more like an arch. I'll show you it downstairs. Um, but I thought this would be so nice in here. And I don't think it's really nice. I know it's really bad feng shui to have a mirror at the bottom of your bed. Um, I'm very aware of that. I don't know, I feel like it just really works in the space and it breaks the space up a little bit. And then we were going to do like an armchair. I asked you guys for um, help on this section. Um, I was going to do an armchair or a lamp. Uh, but yeah, definitely not buying anything just to fill a space now because like I say, we might be moving. And then do you know what? Even if we weren't moving, I still think I'd be acting like this right now. Here's my intro. I think I said that to you like five minutes ago. But I am currently just brainstorming some content ideas for the first quarter of the year, so the first like three months. I'm not gonna, I don't know, I like to do it in little sections, otherwise it gets overwhelming. Also, I'm using my desktop, which feels really, really weird. I used to use this like religiously. It's the only thing I use. I never ever use my laptop for work. And I actually think that's one of the reasons I used to be super motivated or always, I don't know, I am still motivated, but I think I really lost it the last few years. And one little piece of that puzzle, I think, is I stopped using my desktop, which meant I'd have my laptop like in the kitchen and work or sitting on the sofa and work. And that's just not productive. <laughs> so I'm going to see what it's like using this a little bit more. It is quite old, so it's quite slow. So I don't know if I'll edit and things on here, but just to like sit, like I'm doing, looking at some clothing for a video for you guys. And I feel like being here focused makes me think about it in terms of work rather than just, I don't know. I don't know, it's really weird, but I'm just trying out little things, trying to figure out what went wrong last year and the year before and the year before, <laughs> and trying to fix it. Um, anyway, I'm going to sit and do this for half an hour, and then I'm going to go out and see Liv and my other friend who's over from Dubai. change I'm gonna head out and see Liv now I'm gonna show you my outfit so this jacket I picked up from Zara it's so nice it feels really really good quality but in the same breath of saying that this little bit where the belt sits you know um snapped so I can't actually put the belt around it which is annoying but I think I'm gonna go and get like a little tailored thing put on there because it's such a beautiful jacket and I feel like oh great sun put you here I feel like the um Felt really like, I don't know, it really makes it. It feels very much like Max Mara. Um, so this coat is definitely, well, it was in stock like a few days before Christmas, so should still be. Jumper is new look. Trousers are Reese, and I just like the little trim of brown to tie in with the coat. Chloe trainers. I'm going to show you my phone there. <laughs> Why is that mini Cassandra handbag? These are new Chloe Sunnies. Oh my God, I haven't shown you guys literally anything. My dad got me these before Christmas, which I think are so cute and perfect for like year round. They look really good on the beach and also really good now. And then jewelry is um, Nima Roll and then some rings as well. Try and get a little picture of my outfit as well. So hopefully the sun stays out for me. I don't know if you can hear that, but Yodi's in his barking face. Is he doing your head in baby? <laughs> oh my God, he does not shut up. Shut up. So I'm here with Liv. And Arthur I'm trying to get him to have a little nap, having a little wander around town. Look at the markets, that's so weird. I thought they'd be down by now. I they? know, I didn't really get why they left them the whole time over Christmas, I'm pretty sure. Because they shut before Christmas, don't they? Yeah. Um, it's having a little stroll, it's such a nice day. It's like a really good, crisp winter day. And we're going to go meet our friend Alana, who lives in Dubai. I went to uni with her and Liv grew up with her. And that's how I know Liv, is through Alana. Because I met her at uni, so yeah, I'm gonna catch up. And also now Alana's out in Dubai with my twins, so it's very funny. We've all mingled. Um, yeah, it'd be nice to see her before I don't see her again for a few months. And that's really it for the day. It's a nice little afternoon stroll. Good morning, guys. This is the oh, this is the earliest I've been up, literally in. 
since before I left for Christmas, so like three weeks. About three weeks? Yeah. God. Anyway, I have my first PT session back to the gym, which I actually cannot wait for. I am so ready to get fit again. I feel like with working out, as soon as you get fit, it's great. And then as soon as you stop with your routine, like for me personally, immediately I can see like I'm just not as torn, like I just feel sluggish. Hold on. It was, even though I'm very, very tired right now, <laughs> I feel like the walking dead. Um, I'm excited to get back into routine and also I've not been able to sleep until like literally half past 11 the last few nights, which is super late for me. Um, which meant I was like sleeping through my seven o'clock alarm and sleeping, waking up at like eight o'clock, which is my absolute pet peeve. Last night, again, I didn't sleep until like, oh, I couldn't, I was about to fall asleep about 11 o'clock and then Johnny came into bed. That kept me up until like probably midnight, I'd say. I got up at half six this morning, which felt <laughs> like, I was like that once the toilet, oh my God. <laughs> but I'm awake and I feel like having PT at this time is the best thing because I will be tired. Like I had to get up for it. And um, it means tonight I'll be tired and I will sleep. So yes. Also I'm gonna start reading tonight again. Um, also, last year, one of the things I realised is when I have a good evening routine and like read before bed rather than um, rather than sit on my phone, I fall asleep like that. So I just had my Simprove, which is a gut health like probiotic, I think. Um, I mainly just take it for like bloating, and I've mentioned this before, but I thought I had IBS. I don't have IBS. Um, I just have a sensitive stomach, I think. But as soon as I started taking that, I've never had any symptoms of IBS which is great and also I didn't take it home from me on Christmas and obviously you eat and drink a lot on Christmas um, but I came back here morning one of being back here I had it and the next morning I had like the flattest stomach and I was like huh like it has to be that anyway so I had that I have my collagen as always I've shown you my vitamins before but this is the ones that I take I have apple cider I have multivits from my vitamins and then also these ones which I just ran out of so I'm just waiting on a delivery but these are for like I've never heard of them before ashwagandha, ashwagandha gummies are meant to be like really good for your health and your focus and your brain function and relieves tiredness and all that stuff um and I've really enjoyed them so I'm waiting on another order of them and we had apple cider I guess is just good for digestion and bloating those are taste really nice and then multi bits and multi bits. So that's my vitamin. It always amazes me how much darker Scotland is. It's like half past seven here. And it's starting to get light. It's not light, but it's starting to. Um, in Scotland, it literally was dark until like half past eight in the morning. It's the weirdest thing. <laughs> and then in the evenings, it would get dark at like half past three. Whereas here you get like until half past four ish. Anyway, this is one of my presents from Johnny for Christmas, which I'm obsessed with. It's from Anya Hindmarch. And it's a little reusable coffee cup. First of all, love the aesthetics. Love that it has my last name on it. <laughs> and then it comes with, can you do it? Comes with this, okay? This is a holder. It's like a little handbag holder. So let me show you. You pop your coffee cup. I think this will work with like any coffee cup as well, which is really handy. And you can hold it like this, which I just think is gonna be the most convenient thing ever. Number one, it's very cute. This also is like a, you know, so it's not hot, so you can touch it. And it has coffee on that side, tea on that side. But see if you're like, you know, you've got your hands full and you've got a coffee. Like put it there and you can hold something else. You can put it there and you can like text with two hands. I'm sorry, that's just a very good invention. <laughs> so very excited to use this. This is its first outing this morning. Um, and then I'm in very basic, very boring, all black, abnormal leggings, trainers, little top. I'm gonna go work out and I'll speak to you afterwards. Back from the gym for a little while and I've just done a little bit of work, filmed some reels, which by the way feels really weird because I do not remember the last time I filmed reels. I take the dogs out once Johnny's back from squash. Um, and just whilst I'm wearing this, Lauren got me this for my Christmas. And some of you probably remember the vlog where I went to her house 
in the countryside and we went on the pub walk and I forgot to bring like a cozy underlayer so she gave me her shuffle to wear and I literally was obsessed with it and she bought me one for Christmas and when I tell you I have not taken this off I literally mean it it's so cozy I wore it so much in Scotland I didn't quite realize how cozy they were and um, I obviously I do love my little bit of country clothes but I usually wear a little bit more kind of like like you know my quilted gilet and Things that are kind of like a little bit more of a cross between like fashion and country. Whereas this I feel like is full practical dog walk cozy country attire and I just love it. It also has a little drawstring back as well so you can kind of cinch it in. Make it have a little bit more shape but I just think it's so cute. So I've just stuck that on because it's a little bit, well I say it's a little bit cold in this house but I've been running around tidying up so now I'm actually sweating. But I have a little um, AYM studio Base, and then I have my Reese leggings on. This mirror needs to clean so bad. And then my little shuffle. This is the mirror I was talking about yesterday. It is kind of the same as the one upstairs, but you can see it's got this extra bit here, which I just think is so pretty. Also, both of those mirrors are so heavy, like incredible quality. Actually, all of my mirrors from the last like, probably like four years that we've bought have been from William Wood and they've all been incredible quality. So yeah, we've got this from William Wood. Um, and I love it. Set Biggie up a new little home just because he sometimes needs like a bit of a time out in the daytime um, and he really responds well to like knowing where his bed is. Like if you say bed, he like he likes to have a home. Absolutely massive. I don't think it ever comes, on, comes up on camera like quite how big he is but he's an absolute tank. Um, so we've popped a little baby gate here. This is from um, an instruction from our dog trainer and he now has his little home. Obviously when the washing machine and that's on he's not in there because it does get hot but I think he really likes it I think he likes to know that he can go somewhere and it's his own place you already can't get in it um and it's just like his downtime like his little secure home you know so he's really enjoying that in there which is good Yodi still has this little setup where are you <laughs> but we're just working on them having like their sanctuaries and like their homes within our home does that make any sense? I don't know. But it seems to be really working for both of them, so it's good. And it also gives us a break from the two of them being crazy. I mean, they're still not like playing together properly. Um, when they reunited, like Yodi, first of all, in Scotland, I have a Leon burger. So if you don't know what that is, it's kind of like a Newfoundland, like a huge, big, massive, hairy dog. And Yodi initially was so petrified of him, I think because of how big he's been with Yodi. And then within like three days, they were best friends, like literally best 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 friends like you already had the best time with him he was playing and cuddling and sleeping in his bed and it was just the cutest thing and then obviously we bring Yodi back here and um he can't play like that with Biggie yet because Biggie's just not there and yeah I felt really really bad for him but Biggie's been pretty good since we got back he's actually been really friendly which we've been out on walks obviously and they're happy to walk next to each other quite comfortably but on New Year's Eve we were staying at Johnny's mum's house and we have a lab there and then my two and we let them all out to the toilet. And I said, I don't know what it was. I think Biggie was either overexcited or overtired or a mix or I don't know, but he ran outside and like dominated Biggie, uh, dominated Yodi, like pinned him to the ground. And then little Yodi got a fright, which is a shame. But I wouldn't say that was aggression at all. I would say that was just full dominance. It did kind of shock me a little bit because he's been so good for the last few months. But um, yeah, I don't think it was a setback really. I think it was just a mix of loads of things. So, hey. I'm gonna get them out again today and just keep working on it. I just wanna to get to the point where Yodi's pen can come down. He doesn't need to have like his sanctuary. He can have his cage up, of course, because he loves his cage. But the actual pen, I wanna be able to get that down and have them both able to just be unattended, chilling in the kitchen and yeah, we'll get there. Just wrapping up because it's absolutely pouring down with rain. Like literally torrential, but the boys haven't been out. So they didn't get out yesterday. So, I need to get them out with Johnny, but look at his little raincoat. Wait, I'll show you when he's, when he's walking. We bought this, you might remember, we bought this for Biggie in London, and it was too small around his neck. It's too big for Yoli, but I just kind of like scrunched it up for him, but it's like a full-on parka. Look, he looks so cute. It's a bit big, but at least I'll grow into it. And then I've just done it up here for his bum. Isn't that nice? Gorgeous! You ready? It is very wet. <laughs> it's very rainy. Look at the jacket! Oh my god. I can't see anything. <laughs> Good boys! We got to get you pimped 
Four wet piggies, how was that, Nads? Very wet. Very wet. And it's like, I'm still wet. This guy had a waterproof on, so he stayed dry. Yeah, that is a good jacket, isn't it? You got your, you got your robe on. Sessy boy, <laughs> he's looking chunky. Good idea, bad idea. What? Walk in the rain. Good. <laughs> I liked it. Oops. You were miserable the entire way. I couldn't see. My, <laughs> my wet jacket was so wet, it was hanging on my eye. Oh, that's a good cake. We need um, to walk in the pace. I might have a slice of gingerbread cake. Oh, you know how to live. Good morning, guys. I am just getting ready because I'm heading out, I think I'm heading out for coffee with my friend. Just waiting to hear back. Where's my other shoe? Okay, and then after that I'm going, Johnny and I are going to go for lunch. We're both doing dry jam, so this will be a big test. <laughs> I'm kind of thinking, should I just have one glass of red wine? We'll see. See how I feel. But anyway, who remembers these trainers? Pretty much brand new. I bought them in Harrods, probably like, probably like a year and a half ago. And they were definitely an impulse buy, which is something I, very, in fact, I literally never impulse buy. And this is the reason why, because I don't wear things that I impulse buy. Um, I do love them so much, I think they look so good, but I just find them a little bit like hard to style up. Um, because I think with skinny jeans, they kind of give me like, the way they like sit, I feel like they give me cankles, like because they're just not high enough or short enough. Um, and then also they're an absolute nightmare to get on and off, like they're just so difficult. You have to like fully like unlace and relace and it just, they annoy me. I'm all about trainers that I don't have to actually ever undo the laces on <laughs> and I can just slip my foot in and out. But I just put on a full navy blue tone outfit and I thought, oh my God, these would actually be perfect. So I'm wearing them. And if I don't wear these enough by the summer, well actually no, I'll leave them until past summer because I feel like I've, I would wear them a bit more in summer with like little dresses and things. Um, if I don't wear them enough, I'm gonna sell them because they're sitting in my closet, not getting any use. But I just think they're so nice. I love them. Are they navy or are they black? They're navy. So, let me show you the outfit. Okay, excuse the mess, I was filming. Oh yeah, I was filming my Dyson Airwrap tutorial this morning. So they have that up like now or in a couple days. But this is the outfit. So, big navy ganny coat, which I love. I got it a few years ago on Farfetch. I didn't wear it as much as I thought it would, because actually, to be honest, when I first got it, it was huge on me like it looked far too big i mean it looked cool but it was just like super oversized whereas now obviously i um have a different body and it looks much better on me so i love it and also navy blue is so in right now so big woolen coat is very cozy i have a navy knitted jumper on from zara i also have these zara jeans which i bought in like a size two that they're too long so i cut them but i feel like i might cut them a little bit too short um, but they're good with loafers in the spring. And then my trainers. I don't know, I feel like it looks quite cool. Especially from the side. What do you guys think? And then I need to get a pair of sunglasses, which by the way, I have lost like 90% of my sunnies. I'm sure they're all stuffed in the back of like handbags and things, but I just cannot find them anywhere. Um, necklace is Ashton Miu and earrings are Nima Ro. And then I have my usual rings on apart from one new one on this finger which is from Bulgari. This was a Christmas present from, look how wrinkly my knuckles are. <laughs> Everyone always talks about this that knows me. I have like the oldest hands. Yuck. Um, oh my god it's so ugly. <laughs> Let me show you like this. So I got the serpenty ring which I'm obsessed with and I've stacked it on top of my other Bulgari ring and then a little Cartier in the middle. In bag I'll either go light and cream or keep it dark. I don't think I have a navy bag. Do I? Oh, I need to show you guys some stuff later that Johnny got me for Christmas because I have so many nice bits in here. Do I do black or do I do cream? Maybe cream to lighten it up? What do we think? This bag has got so much wear, it's crazy. I'm obsessed with it. So, oh yeah, that's actually perfect because it ties in with the trainers. Cute. Perfume, I want to wear my Chanel number no. 5. I got a new bottle for Christmas and I can't figure out where it is. It's in a handbag somewhere, but I don't know which handbag, or maybe it's in the car. Um, so, what should I go for? This is always like the most important part of an outfit. Hmm. 
Oh, this. I got this for Christmas, actually. A top-up of my Louis Vuitton Novel Monday, which I ran out of probably like four months ago and did not realise how much I missed it. So it smells incredible. Guys, it literally feels like spring. Oh my god, new year vlog. Happy 2020, 2024. Doesn't it feel like <laughs> spring? Yeah, it's weird. It's only six degrees, but it's like really sunny and actually really warm. That's so weird. And then we're going to get into really cold weather next week, which is a shame. But anyway, we're heading to a new spot for us. It's not new. <laughs> What's it called? The Three Horseshoes. Something like that. So I you know the, the townhouse in Allsford that I always go to for like brunch with Liv or like we went for lunch? They own another pub near there. So we're going to go try that one out, which will be nice. And I've looked at the menu and it looks delicious. I think the menu actually looks better than the townhouse. It's more like a pub though rather than like a little bistro, right? Yeah, it's like a Cotswolds pub. Like a Cotswolds pub. So that's what we're gonna do. Are you gonna drink? Yeah, you're gonna drive there. And we're doing dry jam, but I don't know, for like one glass of red wine, is it? Oh, <laughs> that's where it all falls down, honey. No, no. Cause You've I... said it for yourself, don't break it, I haven't. Yeah, you did. You no, said I haven't. It. I said I'm gonna stop. Sunday is my day of rest, and then Monday is when everything begins. But then I'm also in London in two weeks with mum and dad, so I'll definitely have to drink that. Well, you don't have to. Um, it was a big cemetery. People are dying to get in there. Oh, yeah. um, what do you think about Nadia my... Nadia writes crackers as her second job, guys. What do you think about my... Me? Or that? They know. What do you think? I personally you don't never like, like branded them. things, so that to me is just a bit too over the top. But I, I think they're nice, but I think wouldn't cool. pick them personally. I need to make sure I wear them enough this year, otherwise I'm going to sell them. So that's our plan for the day, and then that's it, really, isn't it? Well, if we get back in time, take the dingoes to where we went with just the other day. Oh, it's 31, 30 days today, apparently, until the sun sets at 7 pm. No. Yeah, I saw it yesterday really? online. It said yesterday it said 31 days 30. until the sun sets in England at 7 pm. It's probably another. 95 until we get any sort of formal vitamin D. <laughs> yeah. That was so awkward. We just walked into the pub and there was like people like staring at us. Like, there's so many cars in the car park. And we're like, oh, it must be good. Like, oh, this is the place to be. <laughs> like, all like Range Rovers and Defenders. And then we walked in and then this like random lady was like, hi. But she didn't work there. And I was like, hello. And then. Gonna, where am I going, lad? Just go back to Allsford. And then. Oh, you want me to put it in? And then I saw on the desk, uh, the bar, they had like 16 glasses of champagne being lined up and poured and I was like, oh, is there an event on? And every, everyone was dressed Why would it not again. say, like, private event? Where? Outside, like on a board or something. That was so... Well, because most people probably book before they go, I just... Is it sorry, No, that's not true. Think how many people don't book before you go to Ooh, the pub. Fucking shit. There's all the shooters. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely some kind of shoot hunt. I'm gonna go back to Allsford and go to their other one. How are they gonna fit all those people in one? What the hell? Is that some sort of secret community, isn't it? <laughs> that was literally a wild goose chase. Literally. Are you doing the voices now? <laughs> My, um, we tried like, how many different places? Rang like so many. Anyway, we ended up in this place called- <laughs> You bring anywhere. What I you rang lying? the Fox. Yeah, and didn't then talk the to one that kept making me press buttons. Oh, that was here. So lots of our places which we like. Are close till the 10th of January. Yeah, so we're at the Chilworth Arms, which is in Chilworth. <laughs> I've never actually eat, I've, which I did, eat, I did eat here with you when you first when I first got with you all those years ago. Anyway, let's yeah, go eat. I'm really good starving. Chocolate brownie. When Johnny first got his I, Jaguar, he That's like, when I was still really into the gym. I'm pretty sure I had a massive steak and a pizza on the side. <laughs> I remember when you got your Jag and you drove me here because you wanted to drive me around in your new car. And this is like the furthest away pub that you knew. <laughs> anyway, let's go eat. We went a bit OTT. We're very hungry. We've got sticky chicken, this to share, and squid. I think her stomachs were bigger than her. No, was it? Eyes were bigger than your stomach. My <laughs> camera's so fuzzy on the front camera. How naughty is that? But I feel like I'm justifying it because I did not have any alcohol. Just a diet coke. <laughs> and you've got January, honey, right. pork belly and scallops. <laughs> Yum. Good morning, guys. It is Sunday. So I just thought I'd finish off the vlog by number one, showing you a couple of nice parcels that have been sent to me, but also running you through just a few of my Christmas presents. Um, 
I, for some reason, just something doesn't sit right with me with the whole like video completely around what I got for Christmas. It just, I don't know, it makes me feel weird. I think I did one like years and years and years and years and years ago, but um, yeah, I don't know. So I'm gonna just show you some of the bits that I got from Johnny and um, a piece that I got from my parents. And as we go on, like you guys will just see all the other bits and bobs that I got. Mostly was like candles and pajamas. I think I came back from Scotland with like seven new pairs of pajamas. <laughs> but starting off with what my main present was for Christmas. Did I already show you this yesterday? I think I did. Anyway, I got this Bulgari Serpent earring, which I've had my eye on for a little while and I absolutely love it. Let me take off the Cartier. I just think it's so pretty and I feel like it really is, like suits my style of ring, you know, like it matches with my, like it stacks up really nicely and yeah, I just absolutely love it. So this is what it looks like. Um, my twin and I got matching ones. So we always kind of have matching jewelry. I'd say apart from our watches, all of our jewellery is pretty much matching, apart from the fact she has a big engagement ring and I definitely don't, but <laughs> other than that, we're very matching. So this is how I've been wearing it, just stacked up, which I think looks really cute um, next to my Cartier. So that's my hands, but yeah, I'm very happy with this. I think it's gorgeous and I love it. So that was my parents. And then I'm gonna show you a couple bits Johnny got me. So you saw the coffee cup, which I'm obsessed with. Um, my main present from him was this little handbag from Jimmy Choo. How gorgeous is this? Kind of realized like early December when we started having like events and things, I don't really have a nice evening bag. I have my little Chloe Mini C, but I wear that in the daytime too. I don't really have like a dedicated bag that's just for the evening. So I was looking on Netta Porter and I found this and I think it's stunning. So it's from Jimmy Choo, it's velvet. Very simple, obviously black and gold, which is my favorite. I love this little bucket bag style. You might remember my Jill Sander leather one, which I wear a lot in more kind of like spring, summer. Um, I love it. But I would say, again, it's like a day and a night bag, whereas this one is purely for the evening. And I just love this big, whoops, this big gold handle. And I just think it's really cute, perfect size. It fits a lot, like it fits everything you need. And it's actually under 1,000. So if you're looking for a really good bag and you don't want to spend over a thousand, I feel like this is a really good classic option. Like this will look gorgeous for the evening forever. Like it's not too stylish, you know? So very happy with that. He got me, well it's right here actually, my little Smythes and Diary, which is so handy. And then this Loewe scarf, which initially I actually was gonna send it back because I was like, it's quite, it's like the kind of scarf you can only put around once, you know, you can't like wrap it around. But I've styled up already and I absolutely love it. I'm so glad I didn't send it back. It's just gorgeous. I love the colours, it's very soft and yeah, very cute. So he absolutely spoiled me as always. I still haven't actually got him a present yet. <laughs> he wants a barbecue, so once he's decided on his barbecue that he wants, I'm gonna pay for that. He's just texting me saying, do you wanna go for a pub lunch? But I still feel stuffed from yesterday. A couple of PR bits here. This is from Mason Margiela. Oh, gorgeous. I don't think I've ever had a full size of their perfumes before. I've definitely had like little tester ones. Oh wow. That smells absolutely incredible. It's reminding me of something. It's reminding me of a perfume that I used to wear. It's very kind of like musky. Do you know what? I'm terrible at describing. Unisex fragrance inspired by memories of the woods in autumn. It smells of fresh spices, golden leaves and warm woods. This fragrant captures the essence of woody autumn air and that's exactly what it smells like and the thing that it's reminding me of I think is fireside or foie de bois is that how you say it from diptyque like those real kind of smoky fiery autumn smells <laughs> oh my god that is amazing like, I struggle with unisex perfumes like this because I like I, I love the smell of it but when I'm smelling it I'm thinking would I like to smell that on my boyfriend or would I like to smell that on me, do you know what I mean? Also, a little candle came with it. How gorgeous. The last thing I have to show you is I actually got a really gorgeous delivery from Space NK and I've used one thing out of this box and I'm obsessed. I need to do an updated like makeup routine for you guys because let me show it, I'm gonna get it, hold on. Okay, I feel like I hear and see people talking about this and using this all the time. It's the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. I feel like you'll recognize it. Um, I've never tried anything from Tatcha before, but Space NK sent me this and it is incredible. I swear to God, it, it feels so luxurious. My skin literally feels, it's kind of like, you, 
how do I describe this? You know when you go for like a really good luxurious facial and like the products they use on your skin in the facial, that's what this reminds me of. It's just so like thick to touch and like rich, but then it sinks into the skin so beautifully and it's so light and it's just incredible. Um, so I've been using this with another serum together and the base it gives you is just next level. So I'll show you guys that next week. This is the only thing I tried from the box, but if you're after a new moisturizer, get this, it's actually insane. And just before I go, I wanna show you guys this. I've shown you it every single year for the last five years, um, but I just ordered it late this year, so it's just arrived, I think, yesterday. But this is the Carry & Co Desk Planner. It's literally amazing. It's a lot smaller this year, which I do actually like, because the years before it was massive, but I only ever would have it on my desk. But I feel like this, if I needed to take it somewhere with me, then I could. But it's just so good. Um, I'll just show you inside. Okay, so this is the new section I've just buy. It's the quarter breakdown. So 2024 overview, and then you can do it in quarters, which is what I was talking about before with planning content just in a few months. So start of each month, you get a goal section, you get a full month overview, and then you get weekly planners as well every week. But each day is a full page to itself. So you have your goals for the day, you can timestamp, or time block and also little note section and it's just like that on every single day and then when you get to the end of the month it's also like a little roundup section which I love so I just think it's a really good good planner I'll leave that down below for you guys but I think I will leave you there because apart from planning next week and taking the dogs out on a walk there is nothing else happening today so yeah thank you all for watching I am so glad to be back filming vlogs I've missed you guys so much and I will see you on Wednesday for a fashion video. And yeah, excited to be on here a lot more this year. So thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.